For my capstone, I created a 2 foot 8 inch by 2 inch painting with acrylic paint. I thought that this would be a good challenge because I have some experience with acrylic paint, but not nearly enough for me to say that is one of my preferred mediums. This is actually the largest painting I've ever made, and definitely also the longest time it's ever taken me to make a painting. My idea for the painting, I already knew from the beginning that I wanted to paint my grandparents because they're a very big part of my life and they've been going through some tough times lately and I just thought that this would be a good opportunity for me to show my gratitude towards them and just acknowledge all the things that they do for me and my family. So I started the process with pre-planning. Pre-planning definitely took a while. Um, I took photos of them during Christmas Eve at my house. Uh, I wanted to get them just in different lighting and angles. They didn't know I was taking photos, I just wanted to get their genuine facial expressions and I ended up using some of these photos for my studies. And then after Christmas, about a week later, me and my parents went to their apartment um, because at this point I had decided that my painting was going to be them in their apartment doing stuff, just going around. Um, it was just supposed to be, it was just supposed to capture them in their normal life. And uh, we took photos of them cooking, walking around. I recruited my parents to help me take photos. Um, so walking around, just doing things that they would usually do if we weren't even there. And this is, yeah, sorry, then we have some hand photos that I took to prepare for a specific hand study that I was going to do because I'm not very good at drawing hands and I knew that painting them would be even more difficult. And then here's also them playing a game of cards, which is an even more dynamic group of photos for a hand study. Here's the actual study of uh, drawings I did. I drew some of their faces as well, but I didn't really go into as much detail as the hands. And this is the photo that I ended up using for as reference for the actual painting. So here we have the painting uh, beginning. The image on the left is a painting that my dad did in university. Uh, it doesn't have any sentimental value to him, so he said that I could use it for my capstone. And I didn't get photos of this, but I just covered it in white paint all over to mask anything underneath. And then I covered it in orange paint, it, just in case some paint showed through when I was doing the actual painting, it wouldn't have white behind it, at least it would be orange. And then I just used blue paint to sketch out where everything would be really roughly. Uh, this process alone, I would say took me about an hour, just the just the orange and sketching because I had to wait for everything to dry. And then here we have the actual painting being started. I decided to start with the background just as is. I added some beginning of plants and moss because I knew I wanted to do a photo of them in their apartment, but I wanted to add water all over the floor and lots of plants because my grandparents have a lot of connection with their garden and their own plants that they have outside so I thought it would give kind of a dreamy effect to add all of the plants inside the apartment. Here are some of the photos of my grandpa uh, Carl Christensen or as I call him Morpha that I had taken. These are after I had finished the whole painting. Um, I don't think his face really looks like him but I'm very proud of the jacket because I think it looks pretty accurate and it's if you know him, he wears that jacket every day, so it's kind of a staple Carl look. And then here's some photos of my grandma, Bertha Christensen, which I painted her in the pictures. She was cooking and filling up water, but I decided to replace those with the plants in the sink and a bucket of blueberries because when me and my brother were little, we would go blueberry picking every summer. And the moss and ladybugs and mushrooms all around the counter are also kind of a staple for them. They have a little diorama with all of those things, with the mushrooms and moss and everything that they just always had every year, even at their old house. So I thought I would include it. 
And then this table is just their dining room table with dishes and baked goods that my grandma has always ready to go. Um, I knew I would include these because it's just a classic grandparents thing to have baked goods all the time, I think. And I think other than painting my grandpa, this table probably took me the second longest out of everything in the painting to get the detail on the food and plates as well as make the fabric look like fabric. I think I had to redo the table a couple times. And here's just some close-up photos of the piece and then the final piece all together. And then just to answer some of the questions, the, my highlight of the capstone would probably be the skills I learned while making it. I noticed that I had gotten better at color matching and mixing paints because I, the only paints I had access to were blue, yellow, pink, red, black, and white. So every other color I had to mix. And I, for some reason, mixing the color brown was the most difficult color to mix. And I used brown a lot for darkening colors. So that was definitely... I would also say to kind of semi answer another question, one of the skills that I had learned. And that, yeah, just the painting. I also realized that I had improved my skills over the time of painting it. So, completing my capstone definitely taught me, as I had said already, more artistic skills. I definitely noticed my skills improve by the time I had finished the painting from when I had started which was pretty cool and I'm grateful for that opportunity to learn and self-teach as well as time management I was able to actually sit down and draw and paint for hours a day um, which I can kind of usually do but I definitely during winter break spent uh, almost every day for like six hours a, a week like working on this and I'm pretty impressed with myself even my parents were surprised that I was able to work that long on it and some difficulties I encountered would probably I'd say the biggest one would be letting myself just be okay with the fact that the painting wouldn't look exactly how I imagined imagined it would be because whenever I try to paint things realistically, I need them to look very realistic. And I'm definitely more experienced in watercolor paint, and I can make pretty realistic images with that. But I knew beforehand I wouldn't be able to do the same with acrylic. And letting myself be creative and paint and know that my grandparents were probably not going to look exactly like how they look and not constantly redo everything would just be one of my biggest difficulties and if I could do anything differently I would I think I would just give myself more time I spent weeks doing this um just the painting but if I had given myself more time and taken into account the fact that I had university applications and other classes at the same time then I wouldn't have had to stress as much or rush. And so I would have just started earlier if I had a second chance. And the capstone painting definitely ties into what I want to do in the future. Uh, the skills taught me, or just gave me more experience in artistic skills that I'd like to apply in university as well. And because I'm trying to go to art school and... I'm not completely sure what I want to do in the future in my adult life as career-wise, but I know that for a fact that I want it to be creative, artistic, not even necessarily be an artist, but I need art to be somewhere in my life. It would be a major part because it's just been something that I've wanted to do forever and it's one of my biggest passions, so I'd say this painting very directly ties into that as well. And thank you. I think all the other questions that I didn't directly answer, I answered throughout my presentation.